the second tallest growing tree in the world. The mountain ash eucalyptus tree. Oh, like a giant sequoia. Yeah, it's like a giant. These are giants, and uh, the circumference. They're almost about eight to ten meters in circumference. There's a lot of, and this is a hardwood tree. This is what they actually used to um, forest. Like a sequoia. <laughs> All right, let's keep. There's there's a slightly larger tree of one of these. It's a little bit further in. So let's head there now. <笑>好的，我们刚刚下车，然后我们现在要去走一下。这边因为这边蛮潮湿的，然后这边又有一点湿滑，所以我们就对，就只好慢慢走了，小心的走。Colder in here than it is out of the rainforest. You can actually feel the drop in temperature. So it could quite easily get to minus zero, minus two degrees. I mean, in Melbourne, the other just yesterday it was minus two degrees in some parts of Melbourne. So you can imagine perhaps it might have been minus five in here the night, the morning before overnight. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here are some of the uh, the ghost mushrooms. As I mentioned, they don't grow out of the soil. They actually grow on dead wood. This is yeah. 不能采哦，不然你一吃的话，你会死掉。And there's a cluster of it, like a group, a cluster. And is it is it poison? They are poisonous. Yes, they're not venomous. They're poisonous. So you can touch them. And you can eat them. If you eat them, they'll make you very sick. They'll make you very sick. I know. So not to be eaten. You know, my son, son, my son. So, so these mushrooms here will glow tonight. As people walk through here after dark, which they may, it's open 24 hours. If someone's keen enough to come in in the pitch dark, yeah, they're luminescent. They call them bio luminescent. Um, I'm not. That's. I'm actually something just occurred to me. Does anyone know the difference? I don't. Between luminescent and bio luminescent. Bio luminescent. What does bio mean? Well, they say they, they say these are bioluminescent. In Brisbane, there are some kind, there are kinds of glowing mm. warm. Yeah, the like glow worms are here as well, but don't be fooled by their beautiful glow. They're actually designed to attract prey, so their prey will see this beautiful green glowing light in the dark, and they'll get trapped in the worm's web. Let's keep going. So um, I'm just going to write a note on my hand, bioilluminescent versus illuminescent. Daddy, are they? Okay. Baby, I'll see. Baby, I'll see you Why is it? 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 Why
I'm gonna say Sito. Some, some beautiful large fern trees. Now, these are, these are considered to be trees. They're large enough to be trees, these ferns. But some ferns can be quite small as plants that you can fit in a pot plant on your dining room table. So as I mentioned, there are more than 10,000 varieties of ferns in the world, and more than 400 can actually be found in Australia. You see, this is a fern as well. This is more of a fern plant. And those are fern trees. There's lots of ferns. Who you? So see Who you? So wet. This is fresh rainwater. This is rainwater, rain fresh, water. fresh rainwater. This is not from melted ice caps or a, a reservoir or a dam. This is fresh rainwater. Mm. What did the fish say when it swam into a wall? <laughs> Damn, you got it, you got it. No, Papi, I'm in the front. Don't let me fall down. I'm afraid I'm going to fall. So, the sound of beautiful rainwater in this creek. Flowing rainwater. Yes, yes. It's, it's beautiful in here in the summertime. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's never hot in here in the summertime, guys. Even when it's 30 degrees outside in the Australian summertime, which is December, January, February, in here is still cool. It's never hot in here. It's always a temperate temperature. Are there any creatures inside? Many. Uh, not There's a lot of bird life in here. There's a lot of bird life. How they about bugs? They generally don't. Most of the Australian native animals don't like this sort of temperature. So the occasional maybe wallaby might come through. Wallaby. Or a, a very rarely maybe a smaller kangaroo. Or, kangaroo. or any of the Australian animals might pass through here. But this is not really their... What's the word? Um, habitat. It's cool. Especially reptiles like snakes. They're cold blooded creatures and they wouldn't want to stay in a cold forest. But that does not say it's never po impossible that a, a snake may pass through here. I mean, I just saw one during the summer. How about there, will there be any strange bugs? There, there could be bugs in here. Insects, bugs. Okay. Will they you be... You mentioned there's a special worm that yes, feeds the on globe, meat. The, the globe. Oh no, the snail. The snail. Oh, the, the, snail. the black otway snail. I've only ever seen one black otway snail here. The meat-eating snail, I've only ever seen it once here. So I can verify they do exist, but they're very rare to find. I could show you a photo of one. Um, 
It's quite beautiful. It's black. Yeah, it's black and it's got a it's got a gold center, a, a gold color center in the shell. How long is it? It's uh, 800 meters, which is uh, just a little under one kilometer. Is and the snails, the snails are about that big. Is it difficult to find? What's that? Is it difficult to um, find? Yeah, out? they are difficult to find. So, on this bridge here on your left hand side, you'll see the three trees that I mentioned earlier that fused into one tree. Here on your left. So, this tree is more than 200 years old. Heritage. It's more yeah. than a, it's heritage listed. It's anything more than a hundred years old is a heritage list. Anything 60 years and up to about 60 to 70 years, something generally, I digress off the topic, is normally retro. Anything more than a hundred years generally gets classified as um, vintage or antique. Okay, and here's the hollow tree on the on your right hand side. Yeah, beautiful. It's oh. so uh, this is this is this is the hollow hobbit tree. Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the hobbits might live. I saw I, I saw a hobbit in this rainforest a few weeks ago. <laughs> it was running through the bushes. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Will there be any car carnivorous plants here? Ah, uh, no. This is another beautiful um, fern. Lots of moss. Fern and moss. Here's You don't feel cold here. Even in the winter, but you don't yeah. feel cold. Mm. You feel, it feels but cool, but not cool. cold. But, oh, it's, but it it's is amazing. Yeah. But it's just a little, a uh, much bigger win. Yeah. When is this area designated as national park? Uh, it wasn't that long ago, actually. It was like in the in the 1990s, oh, 1980s. It wasn't very long ago. Oh, very special. It's quite recent, probably in the last 40 years or so. Here is so muddy. It is very muddy. I hear a sound. Who's talking? <laughs> okay, so I'll get us all together. I'll get I'll ask everyone just to all stand together. All come in. All come in now. Out in front of you is the tallest tree in the Otways. This is the tallest mountain ash tree. Over 30 stories high. 100 meters in height. That's the equivalent of a 30 story skyscraper. 
like a cathedral. It is. Um, these trees, you can see, they grow very straight. Very straight growing. Um, there's not a lot of branches on these trees. Only up the top, you can see some branches. But generally, it's, it's quite a long trunk without tree uh, branches. And this is why um, timber workers used to um, really target these trees. Mm -hmm. um, hardwood, not much branches that have to take off. Um, these trees grow to an average of 100 meters. And within the first 50 years, they grow one meter every 12 months. That's the length of a baseball bat or a cricket bat. So that they shoot every 12 months, one meter, until they reach approximately 50 meters, and then they start to slow down the growth. But they, they grow so quickly to try to compete for the very crucial sunlight. So that the, the, the higher they grow and the faster they grow, they get that all important sunlight nutrient. So, um, kind of monopoly. Yeah, exactly, right? the monopoly. <laughs> So these are the kings. These are the kings of the Otways. What's this? There is a slightly, Longevity. there is a, they, they live uh, generally a couple of, two to three hundred years. After a hundred years, they start to hollow. They, they start to hollow out. Mm -hmm. And they don't live for hundreds of years, like thousands of years, like some redwoods. Some redwoods can be five, six, seven hundred years old. These trees generally have a life expense can see somewhere maybe about two to three hundred years. But the American trees, they can grow four, five, six, seven hundred years old. But these trees hollow out from about a century. Fascinating, aren't they? Let's move on. That, this tree, um, it's said to be more than 200 years old, everyone. So when you look at this tree, you are looking back at more than 200 years. You're looking at more than 200 years ago. And um, it's quite a long time. This, this particular tree is taller than the Sydney Opera House Sydney by Opera more than House. 40 metres. If, if you stood this tree beside the Sydney Opera House, it would be, it would tower over the Sydney Opera House by more than 40 metres more than the highest mast really good on the Opera yeah. House. Amazing stuff. Now, further up, there's another eucalyptus mountain ash tree that was destroyed in a lightning strike. The Thor Hammer. Everyone know Thor? Yep, he struck that tree that you see on your right hand side. The base of the tree is up on your left. And one day a large lightning bolt just cracked the tree right open from the base and knocked it over. They've cut through the centre with chainsaw so we can continue walking through. Mm. Mm. You can see how large it is inside. It's hollowed out. Oh. 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 You can live in here. You, you, can, you, you can live. You can live in here. Easy. One person. Much cheaper than Sydney. <laughs> Much cheaper than uh, Sydney. Right. <laughs> oh. You can sit on there as a as a sofa. That's right. You get a little coffee table. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's there's another tree here that people lived in. Oh, ooh. Um, no, they were just local campers or just campers, and <laughs> they blocked it off because what? the park rangers would walk through here, and they would find people living inside. <laughs> I believe it's this tree or the next tree. It's like so they the actually giant segoia. They had to, yeah, it's a goya tree. Um, they had to block them off. It's the with a board. So because they sometimes actually. found two, three people camping in there. <laughs> Overnight. Oh, no. Just one night. Oh, a few nights perhaps, who knows. <laughs> Maybe not this tree, it could be the next tree. Ooh. Wow. So big. 
Oh, maybe, uh, I think this one over here, guys. Ooh. There's so many big trees. You could probably fit at least four or five hobbits in here. Yeah, let's dig in. Yes. Why is it so fat? Is that the door? <laughs> it's, so, it's so fat, isn't it? So if if you could probably park a if small we car in if there. people hug the tree, how many people will stretch out oh, their arms? I, I'm not sure. I, I would say three, four people. Hmm. Giant. But Sequoia is more giant. Yeah. Maybe it can hold up to twenty people yeah. with with their arms stretched. stretched well, to stretch around at the outside of that tree. You're probably at 10 meters. Ooh. Ooh.